guys, PPS076 Reviews here. The product that I'm reviewing today is one of Sodesk's cheapest headsets. And it arrived well presented in this box. And it's worth noting that it has a short 1.5 meter cable, 40 millimeter drivers, and connects sound via a 3.5 millimeter plug. Inside the box, apart from the headset, you get the 2 one splitter cable, which splits the single headset cable into separate sound and mic plugs and extends the cable length for about half a meter. And finally, you get an user manual. Now it's worth noting that it doesn't come with a warranty, which does ring alarm bells. The first thing I noticed when I opened the box was that they were a lot different to most of the headsets I've used. It looked very similar to the Sedas R2. What I liked about these was that they could stretch outwards a fair bit. The mic could be pushed into or out of the main body. And it's also super flexible. The earphone units can move up and down, although they couldn't move left or right. Quite interestingly, the volume and mic controls are actually part of the outer headset. But sadly, it wasn't that user friendly. And it didn't have any light effects either, which is disappointing. It couldn't be adjusted in length. And it wasn't that good on noise cancelling either. In use, they were comfortable to wear, despite the headband not having much padding. But the donut ear cups did have enough padding. Now, the most important aspect of any headset is the sound quality. So let's hear what that sounds like. The sound quality was generally good, but not great. It did have a moderate amount of bass, but not much. Lows, mids and highs were clear. And to be honest, I felt that it was more ideal for listening to music rather than gaming. The mic did actually perform well. Now I'm just gonna tap on the mic now to show you that it's just picking up audio from the mic. It was generally clear, didn't have any sound issues, and I was more than happy with its performance overall. So, in summary, it generally performed well in key areas, and although it didn't cost much, it did have a few too many niggles to get a thumbs up, and it scored 7 out of 10 overall. As always, if you found the review was helpful in any way, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time guys.